Namaste, Big Cat Water Signs, Grand Rising. Welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology, Big Cat Wave, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 9th of October, Jupiter goes retrograde in Gemini, lasting until the 30th of December. It could involve rethinking travel plans, returning to unfinished educational pursuits or reviewing an ongoing project for more improvements. The fixed star Aldebaran in Gemini provides focus and determination during this retrograde, helping you to navigate the reflection period with, resi with resilience and clarity. On the 10th, the moon in Capricorn sextiles Venus in Scorpio. It could show up as resolving financial matters, strengthening relationships through serious conversations or achieving a career milestone that benefits from emotional intelligence. The fixed star Vega in Capricorn enhances your ability to bring wisdom and strategic thinking to these matters, guiding you towards a more successful resolution. On the 11th, Pluto goes direct in Capricorn for the last time in our lifetimes, bringing major transformations. This could involve taking decisive actions on a professional matter, resolving a power struggle or finalizing a transformation that's been in the works for years. The fixed star Altairs in Capricorn enhances strategic thinking and courage, helping you navigate the last legs of Pluto's transformative journey with confidence and foresight. On the 12th, the moon in Aquarius trines the sun in Libra. The detached visionary energy of the moon in Aquarius aligns with the balance, cooperative nature of the sun in Libra, making this a time for building bridges in your relationships. This could manifest as a successful team project deepening friendship or finding com um, finding a compromise and mutual understanding in partnerships. On the 13th, the moon enters Scorpio until the 27th of October. This could involve financial negotiations, addressing unresolved relationship issues or delving into research and investigation. On the 14th, Scorpio Venus in Scorpio's opposition to Uranus in Taurus. Venus in Scorpio is in detriment and Uranus in Taurus is in fall, highlighting sudden shifts between the eighth house of intimacy and the second house of personal values and finances. This opposition could bring unexpected disruptions in relationships or financial matters, creating a sense of instability. The fixed star algal in Taurus warms of impulsive reactions, urging you to think carefully before making sudden decisions in love or financial matters. On the 15th, Venus in Scorpio trines Neptune in Pisces. Venus in Scorpio is in detriment, but Neptune in Pisces is in its domicile, connecting the 8th house of deep emotions and the 12th house of, of um, spirituality and hidden matters. This could show up as creative breakthroughs, a moment of spiritual insight or an opportunity for emotional healing in relationships. The fixed star former halt in Pisces enhances the dreamy intuitive energy of this transit, guiding you towards profound emotional and spiritual understanding. Please stay tuned in for the tarot reading to follow. Mika wave! <laughs> 